my name is Simon. Um, I'm 29 and I live and work here in Zurich in Switzerland. I'm from uh, Germany. I came here to Switzerland for doing the training to be a pilot actually. And uh, now I'm, f I'm flying for, for Switzerland's uh, largest airline company. Um, I had the load, I was looking for something I could commute with, with my, with my bag and with my luggage. It turned out for me that this is uh, the perfect way that, to commute without having to use my car. There's a lot of parking obviously at the airport and our company, uh, they fund the parking spots for motorcycles but as well for bicycles. And I can uh, go uh, with my cargo bike to where they, the, other, the others park their motorcycles and just leave it there and it's perfectly safe there. When I come back from, from, a, from a day at work, from, from a long flight maybe, and most of the time just as passengers we're just sitting there and not moving about, not being able to do any kind of exercise. Um, for me it, it, feels, it feels good being able to just take my, my bike and ride home with it because a lot of the pressure, a lot of the anxiety you have when you have a long day at work uh, is, is just falling off, you just breathing in some fresh air, being, out, being able to do a little exercise. Um, that's for me. That's that's very good. The load to me offers a lot of opportunities uh, in regards of how, how how I can use my bike as as a replacement for the car. It's uh, great for just when when I'm on, on my way home and I know the the fridge is completely empty. I can I can just go to the grocery store and go to buy all the things that that I think that we need without having to uh, think about whether it's going to fit all in my bike trunk. On a weekend I go to the River Rhine, which is close, we're having a barbecue or we're just relaxing out in the evening, hanging out, taking along a, a blanket and maybe some pillows and uh, hanging out uh, until it's getting cold in the evening. I think in Switzerland one out of four bikes or so is uh, high speed, so up to 45 kph. The HS bikes were great because you're less of an obstacle sometimes in traffic. 45 is just sufficient to more or less flow within traffic. Bike infrastructure in Switzerland, I think it is pretty good already. They are still trying to invest in cyclist, cycling infrastructure, building more bike lanes, because they know that it has a, a positive impact on uh, how many people people actually use the bike. It's not that through more cyclists there will be more cycling lanes, but through more cycling lanes there will be more bicyc bicyclists on the road, cyclists on the road. Many say, why are you having an electric bike? I mean, you're not an old man. What I tell them that since I have my e-bikes, I don't ride less, but I ride a lot more because it works for me, like really, as I said, as a car replacement. So actually, since I have my e-bikes, I feel a lot healthier. I do more exercise. It's obviously not the same kind of exercise that you have when you know ride a normal road bike, but it's a little little bit, and that helps, uh, helps quite a lot when you do it every day. So I think, um, especially people who um, want to be healthier, who want to do some more workout. It's, I think it's an easy thing just to switch, to, to do some of your com maybe commute or some of your transport, your everyday mobility, to, to change that to a bicycle or even an electric bicycle. Because you'll be, you'll be doing exercise while you're doing something you have to do anyway, which is getting from A to B. So I think this is a thing that, that many people could, uh, could benefit from in the United States as well.